So for the devotional for this video, I want to ask you a question. What's it going to take for you to surrender everything to God? What's it going to take? What does He have to do for you to surrender everything to Him? Because as a Christian, every single day from the second we get up throughout our day before we go to bed, we should be resting in the assurance of what Christ has done for us on the cross. Because it is by the blood that was shed for us on the cross that we can do everything. You want to know why we can forgive? Because we've been forgiven. You want to know why we can love? Because we've been loved. You want to know why we can sacrifice? Because He sacrificed for us. You want to know why we can take a bad situation and see the good in it? Because God took a bad sinner like me and He saw the good in me. Enough to send His only Son Jesus to die on a cross for us. This whole Bible, look how thick this book is. It looks so complicated. But all it is, from the beginning of time, God made creation. He says, trust me, trust me, trust me. Man decides they're not going to trust him. So God says, I've got to send a Savior that's going to save this world once and for all. So all in the Old Testament, everything is pointing. There's judges and kings and trying so many things and leaders, but they can never fulfill. They're all full of sin. So they need to point to something greater. In this Bible, all these prophets, they're pointing to something. We need something greater. We need something better. We need something that's going to fill us and save us once and for all. There has to be a price paid for sin. We need someone to pay that, pri pay that price for us. And then Jesus Christ comes along. He lives in a perfect, perfect life as an example for us how to live as Christians. Surrendering, giving all the credit to God, everything he did. A perfect life. So you have all this Old Testament pointing towards the need for Jesus. You have the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that tell the story of Jesus, all the miracles, all the things he did to show us how to live, all the forgiveness, all the love he showed. And then after Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the Gospels, Acts on, you have how the church was formed. And you have, so you first, the New Old Testament looking towards Jesus. You have the Gospels, which is the story of Jesus. Then you have the rest of the New Testament pointing back to Jesus and what he did, the author, the perfecter, the finisher of our faith. What's it going to take for you to give your life to him? What does he have to do? So many times, and I'm guilty of this, we, get, we let a job promotion or uh, some kind of financial gain or some kind of success or praise from others to lift us up when we have everything we need and way more in the cross of Jesus Christ. So it, my church says all the time, salvation and the cross is not the diving board into our faith, it's the pool itself. Dive deeper into the gospel. If you can remember one thing I say, dive deeper into this gospel and watch the love of Christ just flow through you. Be a channel of God's blessings, not a reservoir, my pastor will say. I want to be a channel and God just flow through me so that everybody, as Matthew 5, 14, I think it says, they may see my good works and glorify you. That's what it's all about. Hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't. Shoot me a message if you have any questions. I love you so much. I'll be praying for you. God bless you.